Kamea. All right. So, Miss, do you have any children living with you? All right. And who is that? She's not far away. All right. So, um, I'm not going to let allow you to live with Mister because he has issues of his own. You understand? Yes, ma'am. I don't, and I want to let you know I don't. We're not together no more. And nothing like that is going. On. When did that? You need to speak up. When did that end? Um, I would say about a month ago. Because you were just here with us by Zoom, were you not? Yes, ma'am. And when was that? Thursday. Thursday. So who's who are you living with? No, I no, we are in my apartment. That's where we are at in Austin. And who lives in the apartment with you? Me. He, he doesn't stay there anymore. He's back in San Antonio. No, that's not what you said on the Zoom. I, I will tell you, my mind is a steel trap. Mm -hmm. I remember you being on Zoom and I remember you saying that you live there with him. Yes, and my you. issue was that you are for jumping from place to place to place. Yes, so we were living with him at first in San Antonio. Then we moved to Austin. I stayed in Austin. He left back to San Antonio. Uh, Deputy Laura, can you look uh, this cause number up and tell me if he is in custody? It's 2018-CR-12116. Uh, Jamarquise, J-A-M-A-R-K-E-S-E, -E, or I guess it's Jamarcus. All right, so he's not here in Bear County, because if he was, there's a warrant for his arrest, and he would be here, so he's not here. He's not with me. No. So All right, that. so you need to come back to Bear County, yes. because you're not in a stable situation, and you're not even stable where you are, because you say the lease is not even in your name because of your issues, so... You need to come back to Bear County. You understand? All right. Um, Bashan? Yes, Your Honor. On this case, I'm giving her 14 days to get back to Bear County. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And you are not allowed to move anywhere else without my permission. So if there isn't something on your paperwork that says Judge Boyd is giving you permission to move, you are not to. Do you understand? All right, so so she needs to be back. I'm going to give her till June 20th. So I'm giving you more than 14 days. So you're coming back here by that time. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to explain something to you. I know sometimes people say, Judge, it's not your business that I'm moving all over the place and taking my child everywhere, but it is. And the problem is people don't understand that children are people too. And part of my job when I take, you know, people and place them on probation is to protect the community. And for some reason, people think protecting the community doesn't include children, that children have no rights and they should just go on their merry way on whatever uh, adventures or misadventures their parents are taking them. So if you look at it objectively, your daughter has been taken from place to place to place. and Mr. He's not her biological father, is he? Mm -hmm. So I want you to think about how many men or how many adults you have brought into your daughter's life that shouldn't be there. He is on probation for assault, bodily injury out of a felony court. And that's who you brought into your daughter's life. I don't know why people don't do background on, on people when they have children. You should stop bringing random people into your child's life. You understand? Yes. Probation. Uh, is there anything else that she needs? Your Honor, um, she completed a, pro a parenting program that was for a four-hour course. Mm -hmm. Is that acceptable in court's eyes? What did you learn from that course? Well, I took it in 2022. Um, I can't say okay. everything I remember in the basics as far as how you should treat your child and how to cope with things with your child, how to 
act around your child, what not to do around your child. How not to bring inappropriate people around your child, which is what you did. She needs a, an updated course of parenting, a remedial course in parenting. So if there's another course for her to take, and it doesn't have to be the complete long course, but obviously she didn't get the point that you're not supposed to just allow random people around your child. So is there a, a course? Oh, I'll Should we try rainbows? I'll talk to the CSO to see what up with your honor okay. um, but as far as altering any conditions is it okay that i just put a parenting course yes and then and if you are not by care by june 20th what's going to end up happening is a warrant may be issued for your arrest do you understand yes. okay. i do want to point out your honor that her intensive outpatient treatment begins on the 12th of this month so um and that will be in person as okay. well Okay. Here, here. All right. And can you make sure that they do field visits? Yes, Your Honor. How many times a month? Uh, let's start off with one time per month until she has at least been in uh, outpatient treatment for at least two months. And if probation doesn't see uh, any issues at the home, they can then do field visits as they deem necessary. Now, is there anything else you need? And how old is your child? All right, so let me explain something to you. She is 100% dependent on you to protect her, to bring good people into her life. You understand? You can't come first anymore. It has to be her because she cannot get a job on her own. She cannot take care of herself. She can't enter into contracts where she gets apartments on her own or any of that. She's dependent on you. You understand? All right. Is there anything else you need from me? You sure? All right. So in this court probation, to be successful, you got to communicate. If there's something going on in your life that you need help with, contact probation. If you feel they're not addressing that issue, then you can come to court. Okay. All right. Good luck to you.